All right, so what I'm going to do tonight, I have one goal, and that goal is right now in the game, as you wander around through the game, you go from the overworld into levels, and then you finish levels and you go back in the over overworld. And right now, <clears throat> we reload the overworld every time. And the overworld's getting big, and it's going to get a lot bigger, and it's going to have a lot of entities. And every time we reload it, we actually play back all your undo data and stuff. And that can be annoying and slow after a while, especially because our my undo data right now is 300 megabytes because we need to do some things to make it smaller. The point being, though, we want this to be buttery smooth because we want players to enjoy this process. And if you're going back and forth to the underworld or the overworld while you play the game, there's no reason to unload it. So let's not do that, right? Here, where we're going to load a lot, and all sorts of things might go wrong, <laughs> by the way. We'll see. We'll see what goes wrong. This is going to take some doing, and we're probably going to mess things up. All right. Down here, we said get open world, which should have given us a thing. So I'm not sure why it didn't. So we're going to break point there. This is just the kind of... Okay, here's the thing. This thing that we're doing, it's like, hey, we want to do something kind of sophisticated where we used to have just one gameplay entity manager and now we want to have more than one. And by the way, that implies changing the structure of you know, when various variables get set that people are using and it may surface problems, which it currently is, right? Shipping quality software requires this kind of work. You have to be willing to do this. You have to be not afraid of your code. It's like, hey, 10 minutes ago or whatever, at the start of the stream, one hour ago, we had a working game and now we don't, right? But if you don't do this, you end up afraid of your code and people don't change stuff. And then eventually the code just rots or explodes in complexity and nobody understands it because nobody's taking it in control, right? So we're getting it under control right here. 